Hello all and uh, welcome to another episode of MCS Prelims Paper 1 discussion. Let's get straight to the questions. Question number 51 is about uh, unemployment and there are different options given. So it says uh, that uh, when there is a problem with the uh, system itself, when inadequate number of jobs are being generated because of the uh, capacity of the economic system of the state. Now this, uh, you have to understand what are these different types of uh, unemployment. Now seasonal un unemployment, it depends uh, on a particular season. When there is a sowing season, there is a lot of employment. But uh, maybe du during rainy season, there is a lack of employment. So it's basically seasonal. So that's called seasonal unemployment. Then uh, disguised unemployment is basically uh, there is a certain amount of work which is actually only for 2-3 people but 10 people are working on it so that shows that uh, the requirement is only of 2 but there are additional people being shown they are working maybe on uh, paper but the actual requirement is not there so that this kind of uh, unemployment will be disguised uh, unemployment cyclical is basically which happens in certain cycles it's uh, kind of similar to the seasonal employment. So the one which happens because of the whole system, the way maybe a state is operating, the way the policies are laid down, the way uh, the uh, schemes are being implemented, the vision, uh, the entire thing basically. So then that is called structural un uh, unemployment. So in this case, answer is clearly B. Moving on to the next question, number 52 special drawing rights now if you have read basics about international organizations then you will definitely know that it's related to the international monetary fund and uh, if you want to uh, uh, understand this in detail a lot of videos and content available online but to the gist of it is is basically uh, it is an international cooperation on the uh, you can say on the monetary front and uh, to ensure liquidity, uh, this has arrangement has been uh, made where certain countries, the member countries, they can in exchange of these SDR, they can take some uh, other currencies uh, in, in uh, times of requirement. So that is the whole gist of the thing. You can in detail watch this video. In fact, in the uh, IMF itself, I've uploaded very uh, uh, descriptive videos on their YouTube channel. So you can watch that. So answer here will be International Monetary Fund. Question number 53 is about the moon and why there is no atmosphere on the moon. Now, uh, even if uh, let us suppose you have not read about it or you don't know the basic concepts, just look at the options and maybe you, you know you can use deductive logic in this case. Now escape velocity, if you have read basic of science, you know that the minimum velocity which is required for an object to escape an atmosphere. So that is escape velocity. So uh, if uh, there is no atmosphere, basically so easily air molecules are escaping. So that means what? The escape velocity is very low. So that is one point. And of course, the gra basically if everything is escaping, the gravitational pull is also low. So in this case, it's a more uh, logical kind of deduction you can do and you can come to the conclusion that the answer will be A in this case. So uh, this is such an example where uh, when we don't exactly know things, but by deductive logic, by using common sense, these kind of objective uh, questions can be solved. Uh, because let's face it, uh, the general studies is a vast, vast area and uh, there will be more, many questions where you have no clue what uh, the, where this has come from but by logic, by common sense, by a basic understanding of how things happen you can deduct the answer. So this is one such a great example of the, th these kind of questions uh, where sometimes you have to do like uh, this manner. Now uh, question number 54 is about uh, sound waves. Uh, this waves and optics, this is a very uh, one of the favorite topics of the uh, or these kind of objective questions in preliminary exams of UPSC and other state as well. 
so please uh, read it carefully and in detail and understand it uh, well because it's very uh, sometimes uh, the options are very close and it's tricky and you have to know because this is hardcore science so you have to exactly know what these term means in this in this case the answer will be uh, beads beads will be produced and um, you can watch the videos uh, on youtube and what is the difference between beads when beads are formed when resonance will happen so all these things uh, i'm sure if you've read your ncrt's carefully you, you will uh, still remember these basics uh, but uh, before giving the exam it's a good idea to refresh all these concepts now moving on to the next question which is uh, basically question number 55 is about the brit co-warranto now uh, see uh, there are various kind of uh, brit uh, brits are there and uh, if you have read the basics of Indian polity, then you know uh, what is this uh, writ and where it is used. And uh, it's a very straightforward question. And in this case, all the options are correct. And all the questions, all the, these options will be the conditions uh, basically uh, for to, you know, for so that this writ can be issued. So all three conditions uh, are needed. And that is why the answer will be D123. Now, next question number 56 is about uh, basically when an economy is going through inflationary pressures. Now, uh, here again, it's a very basic question of economics. I'm not going into the details, uh, but uh, just to give you a little understanding. So when inflation is happening, so basically what's happening is there is a lot of money in the system and uh, so things uh, the value of money is uh, coming down so the purchasing power is coming down so everything has become costly so that happens when a lot of money is there in the system and uh, number one will help uh, in controlling that definitely the taxes are more direct taxes are more uh, if the interest is reduced so this uh, thing is done uh, when uh, you got to uh, you know, push in more money into the system. So th this is exactly what we don't want when there is already inflationary pressure is there in the economy. And third also, we don't want when there is already inflationary pressure in the economy. So here the answer will be one. Uh, but I would suggest uh, just don't go by just looking at the answer and remembering these kind of answers. And there is no way you can remember the answers to all these questions and especially economics is something which you have to understand very, very well. What is this basically inflation? What is stagflation? What is a direct tax, indirect tax, interest rates, lending rates, public spending, all the, please understand all these uh, concepts uh, very well so that in future also in mains also in interview also if there are questions, you can deal with these kind of questions. And economics, as I said, is a very, very important part of the preliminary exams in both UPSC and state PCS exams. So uh, along with polity, economics is something which you need to uh, be good at. Moving on to the next question. Now again, uh, 57 is uh, a very direct question from history. And uh, one thing I want to suggest here, the answer will be B, Lord Cornwallis, uh, who basically formed the Triple Alliance against uh, Tipu Sultan. And um, so here the point to be noted is that uh, governor generals and their time period, these are important. And uh, what peculiar things happen during their tenure is very, very important because this is generally a direct question. So this happened during, you know, who was the governor general at that time? So these kind of questions are fairly common. So please read uh, what happened during Warren Hastings, what happened during William Bentick and uh, so on and so forth. So here the answer will be B, but, but you need to know uh, the significant uh, developments during the period of all the governor generals which have been there. Now 58 uh, question is a direct question from Indian polity and uh, the fundamental duties uh, is being asked here, which of them, uh, so here all of them are the fundamental duties. Fundamental duties are enshrined in Article 51A of the Constitution and uh, it's uh, amusing that we all the time we as citizens we, uh, we uh, talk about fundamental rights, this is my right, that is my right, uh, you know this should be done but nobody talks about fundamental duties. So when a constitution is there it provides you rights 
but al always remember that it always uh, it also has these fundamental duties and uh, it is very very well drafted and all aspects are covered to make uh, state successful uh, if all the citizens are to abide by these duties uh, then i'm sure uh, that uh, progress and prosperity will follow so please if you have not gone through these uh, it's surprising that in many uh, when i interact with uh, uh, you know many times with youth they are not aware of fundamental duties um, uh, they know the lot of fundamental rights which are there but not fundamental duties so this is very fundamental i think to the progress of the nation that we uh, yes we should know our rights yes we should fight for our rights but at the same time we should also remember what are fundamental duties and uh, if everyone uh, plays a part in uh, taking up these uh, fundamental duties then i'm sure uh, you know magic will happen and we will progress at a very very fast uh, pace and uh, at a very very balanced and sustainable uh, you know uh, pace so here if you see uh, look at the if you read all the fundamental duties you will see that all aspects are covered environment is covered scientific temper is covered protecting the country in the need of our, um, in the uh, you know whenever need comes to uphold their sovereignty sovereignty unity and integrity of india as well so all these things are uh, covered and um, along with that you should also read the, the directive principles of state policy um, and the, the whole debate that uh, you know whether we should uh, that needs to be upgraded now or changed and uh, it should be include more duties in this uh, article 51a so this is a very direct question from uh, indian constitution very important one and uh, please uh, go through these fundamental duties and try to implement it in your uh, life and through your uh, work profession whatever you're doing if you can play a part by the realization of these duties uh, i think the nation will uh, benefit and uh, the whole community will benefit as a whole now moving on to the next uh, question number 59 best colors for a sun umbrella the basic question of uh, you know what which colors are uh, basically absorb more light and reflect more light so white as you know uh, will reflect so it should be on the top black should be on the inside so it's a very basic question from general science and uh, this is something you know answers to all these questions if you go back and revisit your ncerts it's all there sometimes after years of school we don't remember these kind of uh, concepts but it's everything is there on the ncerts so that is why the uh, focus uh, is always on ncert and i and uh, now and again i tell the world aspirants please start your preparation with ncerts they give you such a great foundation for uh, any competitive exam and since you have already read them it's like a revision but at the same time you are building a great foundation so the last question for this video question number 60 is about uh, ozone uh, and uh, a lot has been talked about uh, yes this layer is in stratosphere the distance is not this much it's a little below that so point number 2 is uh, not correct here so you can do elimination here and uh, you can see uh, a and c cannot be the option because 2 is uh, uh, you know wrong absorbs ultraviolet yes that is one of the uh, essential roles of the ozone layer and the fourth is also wrong so because you know it, definitely it has huge uh, significance ozone layer if there was no ozone layer uh there won't be literally there won't be any life because of the this uh, harmful ultraviolet radiations will be there and it's, it will be very difficult for the plants it will be very difficult for the uh, species uh, fauna and flora to survive and it is uh, basically a life saver uh, kind of natural uh, sunscreen kind of layer it is there and it's very very important uh, so here the answer will be 1 and 3 are correct so this brings uh, us to the end of this uh, video i hope you have liked the discussion and uh, we have completed now 60 questions i hope uh, your preparation is going fine uh, we have also uploaded the question papers of mains and uh, we are also trying to find out some optional papers so if there are uh, some people watching who have given the last uh, mcs attempt so please uh, send uh, or in the comment section please share us those optional papers so that we can upload it for the benefit of everyone so with that uh, uh, we have uh, concluded this video see you in the next video with the next 10 questions 
I hope you are liking this series and learning a lot and your preparations is going uh, well. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe and share.